We're hearing teachers don't want to deal with social media at schools. And again, it's done in the name of protecting young people. But it's hard for me to understand why young people are safer encountering social media on their own outside of the classroom rather than entering into a space where they're knowledgeable adults who can talk, talk to them about safe and ethical uses of those technology. We'd be much better bringing that into the school, training teachers and librarians, and giving them some tools to help guide young people into their initial engagement with these kinds of communities. Uh, there's a weird tension right now, I think, at least in U.S. schools and probably in Canadian schools, between a generation raised on standardized testing, where we're encouraged to know exactly the same things, and a generation simultaneously raised on blogs, podcasts, game sites, fan sites, who are encouraged to be creative, participatory. And so I see my students struggle with that in the classroom, right? That they, they don't want, they, they want to know exactly what's going to be on the test. They're, they're negotiating for grades, for security, anxiety about any change or disruption in the system. Then the minute they leave my class, they're twittering away, they're creating things, they're involved in all kinds of systems of informal learning. Whereas most of our schools are still treating any collaboration as a form of cheating because their model is the autonomous learner who's cut off from the world around them. And I think we have to fundamentally shift our paradigm if we're going to respond to the way young people are learning. Now, our relationship as an institution of the world is also under crisis, right? So universities are struggling with, should we build something like YouTube? And my response is, don't build something like YouTube, use YouTube. That as a professor, we should create our content in such a way that it travels around the planet and is accessible not just to students at other universities, but to anyone who wants to learn within the culture. Anyone who wants to engage with our ideas, should be, we should be out there in a way that's accessible to them. As an individual teacher, I can't teach everything my students need to know. But as someone who's part of a larger set of social practices, if I collaborate with other teachers, and if I create spaces where my students can share what they know, then a different kind of learning takes place that is in the long term more valuable for everyone. I think education should become much more open source. That I don't think as I don't think it's about exclusive access to the best brains. You know, someplace like MIT's open knowledge initiatives has done a long way to taking some of the qualities of an MIT education and make them available to the world. But at the same time, it's forced people to think about what is uniquely valuable about being at MIT. And it's not simply the knowledge generated, but it's the social relations that form. How is technology changing your world? Join the conversation at tdo.org slash pull.